Have you seen this man? Tonight, police are searching for a person of interest wanted in a violent sex assault. They say carefully calculated his attack. CBS 2's Valerie Castro spoke exclusively with the victim's roommate. She's live in Jersey City with the interview you will only see here. Valerie? Christine, the victim in this case, is so traumatized that she has since moved away. Police believe the suspect found his victim after checking several doors on this street. He got lucky and found one unlocked. I was freaked out. I was so scared. This terrified woman doesn't want to be identified after what happened to her roommate at their apartment in Jersey City. She told us she was assaulted really badly and um, it looks like she was raped. Police are now looking for this person of interest, a man wearing gloves as he appears to canvass the neighborhood on Pavonia Street. Police believe he tried to open several doors until he found one unlocked. She didn't lock the bedroom door, she didn't lock the apartment door, and it was really easy for him to get in part of the get inside of the building. Like the door was like super easy to be opened. So he just went went directly into her room and did all the terrible things. The victim's roommate says she woke up to a commotion. Other neighbors heard the woman's cries for help and called 911. But she was screaming at like at the top of her lungs, somebody please help me, somebody help. Leard Booker says the woman had run out of her building after the assault. We see a lady laying in the street in a nightgown. It just didn't seem right. Her roommate says she was brutalized. She had a bruise everywhere in her body, her stomach, her face, and her eyes. And she has a huge, like, bump in, at her forehead. Booker hopes police find the suspect before he finds his next victim. He's not a man. That's what I think. He's a monster. The victim's roommate says her landlord plans to properly secure the door to the building. She says she could have easily have been the victim, but her bedroom door was locked that night. Reporting live in Jersey City, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. All right, Valerie, thank you. We